Oh, what's up, Internet? It's Kenny with Taco Cat here, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, the special edition. We, just last, we last left off. I went through a mine. I was in Riverwood for about a few minutes. And now I'm traveling up in this direction into the cold. Because it's cold outside. Let me in. Let me into the let me into whatever this is. Let me into the bleak falls barrow. Thing here. Now, ideally, what you should be doing is you should be going to White Run, and then you should be talking to those guys, and then you should be fucking talking to those guys when they're coming up here. But fuck that. You don't have to do that. You just have to come up here. It's right on your. It's right between you and White One, anyway. So I mean, what's the? I mean, kill this bird, kill this bird with a stone before you. You gotta do anything else, right? Bandit resist turn undead. Of course, the bandit's gonna resist turn undead. Any living thing that is not dead is gonna resist turn undead. You don't have to keep telling me. You're trying to arrow me. You, you, you did arrow me. You did arrow me. Huh? Come on, over here. You call yourself a bitch? Is that, is that what you heard? Is that what I heard? It, do you call yourself a bitch? Now we go into the Bleak Falls Temple. Let's go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Why are you calling it the Bleak Falls Temple? And there's the smoke. The smoke of the loading screen. I'll pause really quick. One thing I will give it to Skyrim Special Edition is it's not taking fucking forever to load this shit. So you guys killed some skeevers. I can probably use the ski retail on something. So cheers, love. Uh, so you guys are just being bandits, being here. And then hide shield, iron mace, sail. There's some, a little bit of gold here. I could use the gold. I mean. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. With your dirty fucking bullshit there. Restoration magic increased, and do we get another epic epic song? Yes, we do. We get an epic song while we attempt to pick a lock. Lock picked. What's in here? Gold, minor stamina, and a firestorm scroll. Now that's just a momentary thing for you to use firestorm, but I'm gonna level up. This takes two seconds. We're gonna go into stamina this time. Okay, and this time we're gonna go because we did that with restoration. Let's put a little bit to our restoration. So this allow us to take half the magicka to take a novice restoration spell. So the restoration spell that we have right now, which being just that basic healing spell, is now gonna cost a little bit less to do. Gold in the urn. Um, more gold in this urn, I'm assuming. No, this one's empty. No, that one's empty. I can't search the coffins. Because, you know, it's not the coffin that carries you off. It's that coffin they carry you off in. <coughs> Which suits me, because I have a cough this morning. I don't know why. This is going to be a, a rat, a skeever. That skeever had, like, nine gold shoved up its ass. I mean, where else am I going to assume that gold has been? Uh, there's linen wraps. There's more burial urns. Minor magic a potion, which I do need. Urgently. Let's go down here. More stuff down here. Uh, there's a bandit outlaw. Now wait, this is so this guy's a little, probably a little bit more powerful. Yeah, he is. He got way more HP. He's got a torch, so he's blocking the torch, and he's got a mace in the other hand. He hasn't even thrown his mace. He threw his mace at me one time. Bruh. Bruh. Let me get into the fun part. The fun part are, are the temple. Let me get the fun part of each dungeon like this, because these are handcrafted dungeons. Things, things like the barrow and things like other dungeons we're going to see later in the game, they're all going to have these kind of puzzles. So... I believe it goes from left to right. So from left to right, it needs to be Snakehead. Let's see, this one's down, but it's down here. So I'm assuming it's going to be two Snakehead. 
in one of these. And uh, use a lever and then back away in case I'm wrong. I'm right. Thought I'd use a lever and back away really quickly. Alright, so there's things coming up here. Skeeties! Skeeties! Come here, Skeevy. Hey, Skeevy boy. There you are. Hello, good looking. Oh, there should be a third, isn't there? No, just two? Okay, just two. Alright, less of soul gem, which is important. Soul gems are good for enchanting weapons, so we need those. Uh, banded iron armor, it's actually, I think, a little bit more than the current armor we have now. Varsimilodon, apparel, is it more better? Is it more better? It is more better. So we're actually going to put on that iron armor. So there's a thief here, so... Uh, can I, I take this one too? I can take this one. So we'll do uh, a little story time later. Another, I think there's another skeever we go down here because he's not showing up on my radar. Probably got stuck on a wall. Yeah, he got stuck on a wall. That sounds about right. Uh, let's see, I've already got enough skeever tail. I don't really feel like I need more than that. Alright, and this place is littered. Littered. With fucking spider web. Probably. Probably some kind of spider that took this time, so. Can I? Is it spawning? There she is. It's a wounded frostbite spider. Which is bulky as shit. I'm killing it. I'm. I'm mashing. I'm mashing. Got it. I got it. Oh, I need that frostbite venom, actually. That's a good thing to have. You over here. It's coming I can it. And just kill him too. Why not? Right? Kill Arvel the Swift, because he's probably got the golden claw. Yes. He's also got a journal there. Uh, he wasn't really carrying anything that important, so Which sounds reasonable. So there's a burial urn, a burial urn, and another burial urn. Uh, we need the burial urn. Though. We need this burial urn because it's got gold in it. There's things in that gold. There's gold in them there, Hills. You know, because that's important. There's always going to be gold in them there, Hills. This is a Draugr. There's another Draugr. Here. No traps. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. Why are you running away? I just want to love you. I just want to love you. See? Look. It's all love. All I need is love. God. I can see how that's gonna get annoying though pretty quick because if all these goopy fucks are just going to run away. Okay, so just run through. Just run through. I have healing, so it won't matter. See? Look, I can heal myself, so it doesn't matter. I'll do just fine, dude. Stop. Yeah. 
It is when it is Saturday, my dude. So where'd that one go? That's how it goes here. We just ask them a question, then we save it for later. So, and then we gotta search that chest there because it's got an iron arrow. It's also got gold. And then we gotta pull this uh, chain here. So I'm just yanking your chain. Going to here. Up and in because it's a cavern. Leading us to a different part of the Bleak Falls Barra. Into. Here to another Draugr is gonna try to run away. Run away, bitch. Run away. Run away. Run from us. I could have just gone that way. I see. Oh well. You know. You want to go down, all the way down into the fiery depths of this watery grave? There's a chest here. I can unlock this chest. It's a novice chest, so. Go this way. Nope, I already broke a lockpick. That's just fine. Oh, come on, you. Can I go the other way with it? No. That's it. There we go. We found it. We did it. It's done. Iron arrow, war axe. Keep going. Uh, can I crouch and get through here? That's third person, Kenny. That's not crouch. But there's just a chest with the gold chip down here. Okay. So I actually don't need to go down here at all. Turns out. Why am I in that? Why am I in third person? Even though, like, 9 times out of 10 when I play Skyrim, except for this playthrough, I usually play in third person because I look at it like an adventure game. Like a Zelda game. Or a... RPG. But, you know, no worries. It's about right. So, there's another Draugr. A restless Draugr. This Draugr, this Draugr is just... He's just too powerful. For the turn of He is just too damn powerful. He turned into the undead. Well, that's okay because he's not, you know, because I'm still doing I'm still doing a shit ton of damage to him, so that's okay. Ooh, this one's an apprentice one. This is a good one, man. So I'm gonna probably damage a lot of locks here. Ooh, ooh. So I gotta go this way. Can I get it? Like, say right here. Almost. A little more. There she is. And more lock picks. Golden some anima and some amethyst there. So that's good. Bleak Vol's sanctum. The sanctum of slime. Which is a very bad Ghostbusters game from way back in 2011. Sounds right. So there's something down here. Clearly. Like traps. That's fine. I have healing. See? I heal. And I can just do up oh, teens amount of damage to this fucker. He's down. He's good. He's done. Now what I'll do is this. I'll switch my magic to destruction. Flames. I'll let these guys come down here. I think I get damaged too when I walk through this. I do get damaged. Oh, I get burned. That's not good. And then now that I use that oil, that oil's gone forever, which is fine. So now I'll go back to my restoration, go back to healing, and uh, use the healing magic to heal myself. 
So I could search probably those draggers and get some gold and get some, like, ancient Nord stuff and shit. But, you know, not gonna worry about it too much. I'm just gonna go this way. Let's do some sprinting. And close this iron, open this iron door. Close this iron door. And the thing that we're gonna be doing next time, we're gonna be doing it in the next episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know any positive or negative comments you've got. And remember, keep being you. Because you are awesome. Take care, everybody.